So guys, Carmen here from Urban Farm School uh, with Verge Permaculture. We are talking today around the import about the importance of water in your landscape, having that water energy in your landscape, uh, and, and how important that is to create the whole ecology that we're after when we're trying to build resilient systems. So what we know about, about uh, natural systems is that diversity is a key piece. So we've explored diversity from all kinds of angles and, and, and in the permaculture design certification course we really, we really dive in deep into diversity. Now one thing that builds a lot of resilience on a property is obviously our soil health. Our soil, the more biological diversity biological of, of soil species uh, in the in, you know in the underground realm the more uh, healthy nutrient dense uh, and supportive food that we can grow for ourselves so we get through diversity of soil species we get diversity of plant species the more diversity of plant species we can grow once we optimize the use of those soil resources and those soil the soil biological resources we are then able to, you know, to optimize spaces for, you know, woody perennials and herbaceous perennials and annual vegetables and fruit and tree, you know, canes and berries. We get so much more abundance because we know how to leverage that soil biodiversity. Once you start grow, being able to grow a whole bunch of different diverse plant species, now you're going to start attracting a lot more diversity of insect species, which is really important. We know below ground diversity of species really important for population control, right? And not allowing certain keeping certain certain uh, entities in check, right? So things don't get way out of hand in one direction or the other. So we get this immune system support from those soil so microbes. When we get insect diversity. The same magic happens. We start to be able to have natural population control. And so we don't worry so much if we see aphids or white fly or whatever, because we know we've kind of done our best and continuously evolving forward in building this real ecology. Now, the more insect species diversity we get, the more bird diversity we're going to have on our property. And they're incredibly important for population control as well. And, and just creating that whole balance. That's what that, and so when we have water in our system, we're not only able to support our pollinator species, our important pollinator species, but also all of our bird species. They're really, when it comes to creating a whole ecology, we want to have as much diversity as possible and, and and having water features in the landscape supports that incredibly. Not only that, but the sound of water in an urban environment is acting like this beautiful positive white noise. Water is life. So to be able to have water in our landscape, it really it balances out that fire energy of the of the sun and the earth energy of our soil. And now we've got this beautiful healing, nurturing sound of water. So this is one example of a of a little bird fountain. It's right adjacent to our outdoor seating area. So in the evening, it's a non-stop show of all kinds of different. We, every year we see different bird species coming, and the same birds keep coming back year after year, which is great. We've got other little fountains, uh, like in the front yard. We've got a it's actually not a fountain. They're just it's just a, a little bird bath. Um, and then we've got a little one right next to our insect hotel that is primarily for the bees, which is really positive. And then we've got another one on the side yard that we love to have there because we notice that with the fountain there, we're seeing the little groups of sparrows come into the yard and march up and down our rows like little soldiers eating slugs. Now that's a very valuable um, you know, ecological service that they are performing for us. They're getting the food they need. We're getting uh, protection from, uh, you know, keeping the population of slugs under control, which we adore. So it's a small thing for us to do, to put a fountain up for the birds if it brings them into our ecology. So there's so many different little water features on our property. Some are moving and some are still. And we just think it just adds so much uh, value 
in, in, in how we spend our time here on the property and building that whole systems ecology. So I do encourage you to try to find some way to incorporate a water feature of some kind on your property. And I think you'll find, like we do, that it really contributes to a beautiful nurturing environment for all of us.